So you look at uh, about a year, starting from a year ago, you look at how weak the yen was. Japan had negative interest rates. You pay a bank money, you have to pay a bank money to hold your money. Yo, 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 it's the Marcus Duhar, man. How you guys doing today, man? We're coming back to show you guys the stock market has crashed in America, but not only in America, all over the world. So this is very important because the value of the dollar has basically went down again and it's not necessarily just because of us it's actually because of japan so let's see a little bit on what they're saying about what japan did Japan did the most guys let's see following up on some developing news this morning and all eyes will be on wall street this morning here's the deal japan's stock market is taking a hard fall right now experiencing its worst day slump in nearly 40 years dropping by nearly 12 percent now it's really the worst day since black monday in 1987 taking you back there that's when wow. markets around the world plunged japan's loss of 400 billion dollars second only to wall street's loss of 500 billion Right now, markets are extending last week's retreat with a weak U.S. jobs report Friday, igniting fears that the Fed isn't moving fast enough to prevent a sharp wow. economic downturn. Oh, guys, it is crazy that the stock market just fell. And honestly, if you want to know the truth, you can make a lot of money in the stock market when it does go down. You just got to buy when it's low. This is the perfect time to, to, to invest whether if you're in Pakistan, whether you're in India, whether you're in the United States, whether you're in Japan. If they're going low, we really want to realize that if there's blood in the streets, it's money being made. So that means that really when the stock market crash, if you're smart or you, you tune into me, like, comment, subscribe, I'll keep bringing this stuff to you guys. You can buy when it's low. So always buy the stock when they crash. Buy the stocks when they crash because they're always going to go up. After a crash, they go up. So you got to realize that that you know it's a it's a lot of fear into the stock market when they say oh everything's crashed and we're not going to make it and they got a fear and greed index which is crazy to me seeing the fear and greed index and this is what it looks like the fear and greed index by uh, CNN they said everybody's in extreme fear right now. So it's crazy. Don't nobody want to invest. So this is the perfect time, guys. This is the perfect time to make your money, invest, and buy the stocks when they're low. There's a bloodbath out there. And you can make a lot of money or at least a decent amount by just basically putting calls and options. And if you haven't seen the calls and option video, check the videos down below and you'll be able to see those. But put calls and options down there and actually invest in, in different stocks that will get you up man like you got the s p 500 uh it's actually going up today the s p 500 and you can invest in that let me see nvidia you got nvidia as well let's see what nvidia got nvidia they're going up they're 106 they're study going up yeah so this is the perfect time to start investing into these stocks man nvidia's ticker symbol is nvda so definitely invest in the video you can buy something short and, and triple quadruple your money if, especially if it, you can see that it's going up man I, I believe it's gonna go to 107 see 107 right there man 107 right there you just seen it go up guys it's, it's gonna continue to go up and that is the market you're seeing real time right now i'm bringing to you guys let's bring it japan messed up so let's see from a japanese guy what happened and why did Japan's stock market crash? And how, why is that affecting everyone else? So let's see what this guy got to say. So badly. It's because of this thing called the carry trade. Uh, the, 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 the Fed started increasing rates over a year ago. Japan had negative rates. So you look at uh, about a year, starting from a year ago, you look at how weak the yen was. Japan had negative interest rates. You pay a bank money, you have to pay a bank money to hold your money. For example wow. negative and our rates were going up right so what that 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 spread caused a demand for japanese yen it's called a carry trade you borrow with yen at a super low interest rate and you take all that money you know and you can put it in fixed income and equities here that are giving you this big returns it's kind of arbitrage what wow. happened was i think 
that, that was happening. I've read a lot about like Buffett was doing that and, and some people at that level were doing that, institutions were doing that, but it, the magnitude it did was so big. And what happened was the BOJs back in Japan just recently, you know, last uh -oh. week stopped doing that, stopped buying their bonds, right? So their rates went up and if you look at the US dollar, the US dollar against the yen tanked. So all these people had short positions over there borrowing on yen and, and using uh -oh. their money here have to cover their trades. So, and that coupled with like, you know, the concerns about earnings, about growth over here, everything just hit at one time. Everyone had to dump their equities here, dump the tech stocks here, you know, and all that, and put and cover their positions in Japan because the yen was, was uh, uh, the, the US dollar was, was tanking against the yen, right? Wow. So that all in all has caused a crash. If you look at what happened last night, this morning was like all the Asian markets crashed because of that, that unwinding of all those positions, you know, all the buybacks, all the short coverings and stuff like that, right? And that pulled all the liquidity out of this market on Friday and this morning and it tanked us here. There was a big man. So now you guys see exactly why that this is happening. Japan basically stopped using the US dollar as much. Basically, you know, once they did that because they they had to raise their interest rates because their money got less valuable, they had to start using interest rates and they raised interest rates that basically tanked their market, which affects everybody. You know, I was looking the other day at the stocks and bro, it was looking different, but now they're going up, which is, definitely an opportunity for everybody to start making some bread start getting some more uh money and just really just understanding that you have to invest into the market because you're using all these products anyways like if you're not investing your money into the stock market or investing period you're gonna lose man you know videos showing you guys how to basically open up a brokerage account how to invest in low penny stocks beginner stocks I have that down below and a playlist down below you can share it with your fans or friends and family and you want to get in this you really want to get in this it has low right now you know it's already crashed the market's already crashed so you you really want to get this money right now bro. i'll tell you you know so i grew up where we really didn't i didn't know much about investing or any of that like my family didn't teach me nothing about investing and putting my money up so I, I make sure that my children my sons my daughter they're going to know about investing they're going to know about the u.s market they're going to know about the, the international stock market they're going to be investing they're going to have their money up put away so it can grow you know it can go down but it's going to go down anyways if you have your money in your pocket like where's that going if i send you money and you don't or you make some money you make your paycheck you should be putting at least 10 percent to 20 percent in the stock market or invest in it period not just saving it if savings cool but you want to invest your money like that's the best way to do it like if you if you don't do that you know you're gonna end up like a lot of homeless people bro or you're gonna end up like a lot of people who don't got much when they're older like i know older guys that you know they made a lot of money like they're 80 years old and they don't got much to show for it because they don't got no investments like they might have had life insurance but some of them they had they had something called whole life insurance like and i'm gonna explain that too in another video whole life insurance is they basically took the money out of the whole life insurance and what they did was they they spent it. <laughs> so it's crazy man i don't want you guys to do that i want you guys to invest in the stock market believe in the american stock market believe in whatever uh country stock market that you're in and keep investing guys help this video get at least 100 likes like comment share and subscribe man i'll see you guys on the next video peace